I've been toying with the idea to bring this channel to the next level. Stay tuned and find out. Hi everyone, I'm almost at the 500 subscriber mark and I'd like to thank each and every one of you. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. I hope you've enjoyed my videos so far. I had some great feedback and comments, but I'm not totally satisfied and I want to bring this to another level. My previous videos weren't really thought through. They were haphazardly created without any direction. They were not part of my hobby per se, and they were only snapshots of the build itself. And I want to change things around. The idea is to provide you with a more thorough walkthrough of the process in building a retro homebrew computer so that you can follow along. To deliver structured and informative step-by-step -step content, I'll be producing scripted videos. This means pre- and post-production will take more time and thereby taking more time to output videos, but the quality will be better, I hope. Like I said earlier, I had some good comments from subscribers, channel friends, and messages from other social media outlets. Basically, people want to see more structured, step-by-step -step didactic content from ideation to creation. But why would I want to do this? There are other channels out there that do this very thing. My goal is not to compete, but rather add another voice in this very small retro homebrew community. And what motivates me to do this? It seems that I quickly reached the end of the road when searching for this type of content. I feel I've watched everything there is to watch. Well, according to the view statistics and the algorithm, that is. So I ask myself, if I'm in this situation, then others must be in the same predicament. So I want to fill a content void and provide what people want to see. A word of warning. I'm not as eloquent as Ben Eater, James Sharman, or John Winans. After all, my native language is not English, so be patient with me. Anyway, I'll be reading from a script instead of saying unscripted nonsense. That'll help. So, what are my credentials? How do I compare to those I've just mentioned? Well, the answer is quite simple. Probably not what you expect. After all, there are other creators out there that are electrical engineers and programmers. So why would you listen to me? While not university level, I do have a college degree in digital electronics. However, it does date back to the late 1980s. I worked in IT for the better part of two decades, so that gives me some insight. I also switched careers after that in the video and audiovisual industry, so that gives me some insight also and also will help in content delivery. My college degree dates back, for sure. However, I rediscovered and relearned electronics during lockdown. And like many of us, Ben Eater is what got me started. He rekindled the flame, and it became my main hobby ever since. Who am I addressing these videos for? Principally hobbyists of all levels, and beginners. I'll be presenting the content from a hobbyist point of view. I've said a lot so far. What's the point of all of this? Well, basically I want your input. I want to know what you want to see. And one thing is for sure, I know that you want more retro stuff. Here's what I've gathered so far. Take a pen and paper, or open your favorite text editor and start writing your answers. Are you ready? Firstly, I want to know what your motivation is. What draws you to build your own retro homebrew computer? What do you consider your electronic and programming knowledge levels to be at? Rate both on a scale of 0 to 10. Are you a content creator that covers this very subject? If so, what's your channel? What CPU would you like me to work with? I'm currently familiar with the 6502 and the Z80. Both have their pros and cons, of course. I could also cover the 65816 or the 8088. Depending on the availability, do you want to work with era-specific peripheral ICs such as the TMS9118 graphics chip 
work with sound chips like the AY38910? Do you want to see me design the schematic every step of the way in KiCad? Should I show you the breadboard build wire by wire in almost real time so that you can follow along? Or should I have each segment pre-built in advance and point to the various sections as I explain the circuit? Do you want your combinational logic to use conventional logic gates? Or would you rather delve directly into programmable logic devices like the ATF22V10? And yes, PLDs are considered period accurate, depending on the year, so the retro vibe won't be affected. Would you like to learn assembly language programming using VASM? And what would you like to know and learn specifically? Out of curiosity, if you're familiar with assembly, then what assembler are you currently using? Are you interested in programming your very own monitor program? Would you want to integrate BASIC in your system? Have you ever heard of fourth? And is that something you'd like to implement? When a time comes to create the PCB, or multiple PCBs if it's the case, what form factor would you like? An all-in-one single board computer? Cards on a backplane for ease of expandability? Or stacked together, like a sandwich, which also provides some expandability? Depending on the CPU, what operating system would you want to work with? To name a few, CPM, MS-DOS, Fusix, ROM WBW, Gecko S. Or should we be crazy and create our very own? Now that's going to be challenging and difficult. And lastly, what are you going to do with your retro computer? I know, I know. If you're like me, the sheer fun of building it is enough. But maybe you want to do some games productivity apps, or control devices like a modern-day microcontroller, but retro-style. Let me know. If I forgot something, and I probably did, feel free to elaborate and write your answers in the comment section down below. I want to thank you. I'm extremely grateful for your contribution. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and tickle the notification bell to let you know there are new videos posted. And also, click the like button if you like this video. This will help boost my channel and boost my dopamine levels. Goodbye, and take care.